June 27, 2021 is a special day for Chengdu, a major city in southwest China. After five years of development, the Chengdu Tianfu International Airport will officially open. Today, Chengdu will become the third city in China with two international aviation hubs after Beijing and Shanghai. The inland areas of western China are about to welcome in a new chapter of direct participation in the global industrial division through this new aviation link. The opening up of Western China is about to take on new wings. I'm very lucky to be invited personally to witness this important milestone in both Chengdu and China's development. Hi guys, it's me, Scott from uh, London in the UK again. Uh, lots of you know already, but I've been living in Chengdu, China now for nine years and today is a really, really, really exciting day because today the brand new Chengdu Tianfu International Airport is about to open up. So right now it's early in the morning and I'm about to go and meet uh, a pilot friend who is one of the lucky pilots who's going to open this new airport. Let's grab a taxi. It's going to be a brand new reason for people to come and enjoy this place. Tianfu International Airport covers an area of 50 square kilometers with four terminals and six runways. The annual passenger volume is expected to reach 120 million and the annual cargo volume is expected to reach 2.8 million tons. Currently, there are three airline companies building their bases here and Diego is working for one of them. Okay, so it's now almost 6 a.m. in the morning and I've just arrived here at the brand new crew apartment building just outside the new Tianfu International Airport. So this massive building which we've got here houses over 300 apartments which is the residency of the captains, the co-pilots and all of the stewardesses and crew before they take their flights. And we're just going to have a look and see if Diego's in here. Oh, you're away. Good morning, 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 morning. I'm a little bit busy. You can come in and have a look. Perfect, thank you. This is Diego, an Italian pilot who's been flying now for over 40 years. Now, for the last three years, he's been living in China and now is the captain of China Eastern Airlines, one of the three major airlines in China. What do you keep inside them? Well, actually, normal stuff. What you would bring in an overnight stay. Uh -huh. Something technical. For example, passport. Uh -huh. Of course. Then, um, then uh, my ID card. Yep. Necessary, otherwise I will not go through. And, uh, <laughs> and of course, my working iPad. I have everything, all my knowledge here as a backup, plus the flight plan preparation. Okay, uh, we can see that the bus departs from this building an hour and 20 minutes. They have to go and do all of their alcohol tests and their blood pressure tests downstairs and also have a 25 minute briefing before they take the flight. So actually, uh, they're on quite a tight schedule, even from the minute they wake up. Captain Spectacular ready, very handsome in his suit. If you have two, then it means you are a flight cadet. If you have three, it means you are a co-pilot. And if you have four, just like Diego has here, it means that you are the captain. You need to have at least 2,000 flying hours under your belt, which is about five years of experience. Now, Diego here, he actually has over 12,000 flying hours to his name, so more than qualified for today's flight. With nearly 800 aircraft making 3,000 takeoffs and landings every day, the company ranks seventh among all airlines in the world. So we're in the crew apartment building here, and apart from having over 300 rooms and an awesome canteen, they also have extra facilities, such as a fitness center as well. Dinner, 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 thank you. Morning. Morning. Is this your first time here? Yes, for me and for everybody. Look, it's like the start of something great <laughs> and new. It's very nice. Very it is. Nice. There's a real buzz about it. How do you feel about today, anyway? It's very, very exciting. Yeah. A very exciting, significant day, yes. Awesome. Check up area, okay? So this is really important because before every single flight, they have to make sure that they are checked to make sure they're healthy to fly. Now, the first thing is, of course, we do an alcohol test because within 24 hours, they are not allowed to consume alcohol. Otherwise, their flight will be canceled. I should if I would be drinking, but personally, I never drink. So for me, no change. You never drink? Never. Is that, is that normal? For pilots? I think, yes, it's pretty normal. At least as far as I know in China, basically no pilot is drinking. Really? And that is uh, one 
re one of the many reasons why the safety standard in China is so high. So we're in a really important place now, and as you can see right the way around me, we have more than 10 kind of small meeting spaces. Now this is really important, what we've got here is the flight crew and the cabin crew. So as you can see, this table of people here obviously is for a relatively small plane, relatively speaking maybe 100 passengers. So we've got five uh, cabin crew, we've got one safety personnel, and we've got our three pilot crew who are having a meeting here. So TFU, Chengdu to Shanghai, this is the inaugural flight for China Eastern from Tianfu International Airport. We've got the whole big team here, a big assembly of people, roughly 20. They're really putting a full effort into this flight today. The first flight for China Eastern from Chengdu Tianfu International Airport to Shanghai. So Diego is now ready to get on the bus and go to the airport to catch his flight. From here in the crew building, it's really close. It's just a five minute bus ride and he's there. Okay, so we've just got off the bus, so we're here now on the tarmac. This is actually Tianfu International Airport. I'm touching it. We've been seeing this for years, and we're finally here. Just look around you. It's massive. Honestly, I'm going to take you around right here. Just around, 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 around. This place is humongous, and to celebrate today, we've got China Eastern's biggest, sexiest, brightest plane, the uh, China International Expo uh, Special Edition plane right here. It's a Boeing 777. I examine how war is the tire. Yeah. I wanna, I'm, I kind of measure visu visually how much threat the tires have because I want to be sure that every single tire is in good condition. We've just completed what is called the aeroplane walk around inspection and this is something particularly done by the captain and the co-pilots themselves. That old school feeling of just seeing with your own eyes, like uh, he said, the tread on the tires etc, making sure everything looks right so that when you fly this baby into the sky you know that she's going to get you and your passenger crew there safely. We all check independently so it's a very redundant. I check, the maintenance checks, the pilot checks, so there is a, a redundancy of the check that is very, very safe. <laughs> yes, I've been in about 25 countries flying in many airports in my 40 years of career. First flight from a new airport, something really exceptional. I'm excited but not nervous. Flying that we have two pilots in the cockpit, the captain and the first officer. One reason why is because everything we do, every single action, every single button we press, we have to check it. Today, there will be a total of eight flights participating in the maiden flights event. The T1 and T2 terminals of Tianfu International Airport will be officially put into operation at phase one, which will achieve 320,000 aircraft takeoffs and landings per year. One characteristic of China is the extremely high standard that you have a professionally. That is, a, for a high standard, is including zero tolerances to mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Diego. Our flight is the first flight taking off from the biggest hub in southwest area, Chengdu Tianfu Airport, with the highest 4F level air harbor to Shanghai Hongqiao Airport. Panda cheesecake. So we got Sichuan specialty sausage. But something maybe that not everybody knows is that the pilots, um, and obviously we're looking with Diego today, um, very importantly is that the captain and the co pilot, they always have to have different meals because if there's a problem with some of the food in one of them, uh, or even if there was some kind of you know poison or whatever something to upset their system they have to be sure that the co-pilot and the pilot and the captain have different meals to make sure the plane is always has a safe person to operate it how cool is that honestly if anybody understands Chengdu's history Xianxindui is something that's really going to appear there <laughs> After Tianfu International Airport is put into operation, the markets and resources of the Chengdu Chongqing dual city area, which is located in the heart of southwestern China, 
will form an intra-regional hub like the other two major urban agglomerations of Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei, and the Yangtze River Delta and Greater Bay Area. Chengdu, which is the best hub city connecting China, Europe, and Southeast Asia, not only has the direct China-Europe railway, but the global aviation network is also gradually spreading, leading to the world market. Diego is on the most fertile soil for his career development. So this is really exciting to celebrate the arrival of the first flight uh, for China Eastern to Shanghai from Tianfu International Airport. We've just gone through the grand display, which is a double water cannon. I never expected to enjoy such an incredible welcoming ceremony. Using fire engines to create a water gate for the planes to pass through is the highest honor in the entire international civil aviation industry. So I really feel truly lucky to have experienced it. Okay, so thank you very much to Diego for flying us here to Shanghai. Uh, he can now go and rest. He has no more responsibilities today. Um, but as we've arrived in Shanghai, which has obviously two international airports, Pudong and Hongqiao, um, it just kind of makes me really think about the future for Chengdu now that they've got the second international airport as well. You know, Shanghai is a big world famous city and the advance and the development from, you know, economies and lifestyle and speed, etc., from having to really makes me excited about the future of Chengdu and its 20 million population in the city now that the Tianfu International Airport is open. So let's look forward to the future. Honestly, congratulations Chengdu, congratulations to your new airport. Bring on the future and I can't wait to go back and fly there soon. So dear friends, thanks a lot. See you soon.